monitoring solutions in DevOps. In this video, you will learn DevOps monitoring solution using Monet and Megius. In this video, we will cover starting from introduction to monitoring, important practices, and then moving on to the tools. Monet as a monitoring system, Negis as a monitoring system. Starting with introduction to monitoring. Service monitoring. For example, if you have a few services running like a web server, you need to monitor it and check whether it is running fast. Is it actually giving the results what the user is looking for? If someone tries to log in, is your login authentication working? Any errors are being generated? So whatever your site or your services are meant for, are they giving the right services to the user or not? For that, you need these monitoring services. Operational monitoring in which your hardware is working or not, is your servers are up, there's no downtime to the services. For all these, you need tools and automated tools will be a great help. So for example, you have dozens of servers, but they are serving only few users. So that means your system is being underutilized. So you need to monitor your resources and the usage. Finally, therefore you need monitoring services. Moving on to important practices, collecting the data. You cannot manage what you cannot measure. You need to take inventory of what is being collected, analyze the inventory collection, what data to be added and what to get removed. How information is collected, through which means and processes you get the data. This is all important in collecting the data. Correlate and diagnose. Data simply does not help you. You need to correlate it with the needs and goals. Do some comparison against the different incoming matrices. Establish baselines for basic service availability. Define it thoughtfully. Constantly ask what the organization is missing from the data related to business initiatives. Identifying trends. Examining the historical data to identify previous trends and take actions before issue arises and customer complains again. Establish alerting threshold on these trends by outlining what is normal and alerts on violation of these normal values. Notify and act using automation. In manual mode, a notification is delivered and then the team reacts. But you can have solutions to many problems which can be done automatically. For example, a disk full. You know certain logs fill up the space which can be removed. So automate this removal. You don't have to wait for the alert to reach the team and then someone logs into the system and does the buff fix. Before stepping into automatic solutions, you must understand where it is best to add automation. Moving to a faster process means a shift from a manual to automated processes. Coming on to Monet, the monitoring system. What is Monet? A free open source process supervision tool. System status can be viewed directly from the command line or via a web server. Fairly uniquely suits the needs of the Ruby and Rails community. As the Ruby and Rails community grew, same happened with Monet. Many popular Rails sites have used it, including Twitter and Scripty. What Monet can do? Monet is proactive. It can act in an error situation. For example, mail server program is not working. Monet can simply detect the issue and will start it. Web server is not responding. Monet can stop and restart it. Monitor process characteristics such as how much memory is being used or CPU statistics. It can monitor processes, daemon processes or programs. Even system boot processes can also be monitored from Monet. It can monitor files, directories and file system. For example, for the changes like timestamp changes, check some errors, size of the file, any change in the size, any excess time on the files or, the, or directories. Useful for security reasons, it can monitor MD5 checksums of the files and monitor if any change is being done and if any change exists, it can alert the system. Cloud and hosts, it can monitor network connections to various servers which can be local or remote. TCP, UDP and Unix daemon sockets are supported. Network tests can be performed on a protocol level. Built-in tests for the main internet protocols can configure Monet 
to send any data and test the response from the server. Test programs and scripts. Test programs or scripts at certain times, much like cron. It can test exit value of a program and then perform an action. Sends an alert if the exit value indicates an error. You can write scripts for any type of things. Monitor the systems. Monitoring the general system resources like CPU usage, memory, and load averages. Moving on to Nagios monitoring system. What is Nagios? Nagios is a free and open source computer software application. It was originally designed and run under Linux. It monitors systems, networks, and infrastructure. Offers monitoring and alerting services for servers, switches, applications, and services. Alerts when things go wrong and alert back when the problem is being solved. Moving on to the features of uh, Nagios. Comprehensive monitoring. It monitors applications, services, operating systems, network protocols, system matrices, and infrastructure components. It has a powerful script APIs, allows you easy monitoring of applications, services, and systems. Visibility and awareness. Centralized view of the entire monitored IT infrastructure. Detailed status information available through web interfaces. Fast detection of infrastructure outages is are also available. Alerts can be delivered to technical staff via email, SMS, or other alerting tools. Escalation capabilities ensures alert notification reaches the right people. Problem remediation. Alert acknowledgements provide communication on known issues and problems response. Event handlers allow automatic restart of failed applications and services. Proactive planning. Trending and capacity planning add-ons ensure you are aware of aging infrastructure. Scheduled downtimes allows for alert suppression during infrastructure upgrades. Reporting. Availability reports ensures SLAs are being met. Historical reports provide record of alerts, notifications, outages, and alert response. Third-party add-ons extend reporting capabilities. Multi-tenant capabilities. Multi-user access to web interface allows stakeholders to view infrastructure status. User-specific views ensures clients see only their infrastructure component. Customizable code. It's an open source software. Full access to the source code and being released under GPL license. Next video coming up will be on setting up and configuring Negis.